Hi, today I'll be reviewing the Gussie Main Squeeze Hair Straightener and the At Home Keratin Treatment, also by Gussie. Here I am unboxing it. It came with a heat protecting mat and a really cute keychain, and then the products. I really like the straightener, it's super cute. I love that it has an LED panel and the plating is a reflective mirror. In, in this video, I will show you some of the steps for doing this treatment and then at the end, I show what my hair looked like after I washed it after doing the treatment. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to review the Gussie at Home Keratin Treatment is because I have really thick, coarse, dense, curly hair and I'm black and <laughs> there are a lot of hair products that are like promoted as though they would work really well for black hair and then um, I'm like will it actually work on my hair and Gussie was one of them because I kept seeing these like um, either promoted ads or just looking at their page I would see like black people using their hair products or just people with really coarse curly hair. Yeah, it looked like it worked, but I wasn't entirely sure because the thing with keratin, I feel like you don't really know how well it worked until you wash your hair again. And what you tend to see is like someone using the product and straightening their hair and then they just leave it there and you don't get to see what their hair looked like after. And yeah, so I wanted to show my hair um, and what it looked like throughout the whole process and yeah so I basically had um, issues with the shampoo stripping my hair of like all the buildup that was in my hair so I kind of wish I used my own shampoo and then went to that bottle but I don't think I used more than like half so I could get two treatments out of the at home keratin products um, so that's good but um, it would have just helped a lot to have like pre-washed it with a different shampoo um, but finally I got it frothing up and I cleaned my hair properly and thoroughly and then I moved on to spraying the treatment into my hair and it does have instructions on like depending on how thin or coarse your hair is how many sprays per section and how many sections you should do so I just did the most coarse option for my hair and then did that accordingly and I probably used half to maybe three quarters of the bottle it's hard to say because it's not see-through but just from feeling the weight before and after and I think that's roughly how much I used so I think I could get one more treatment out of it um, but it might not be as saturated and I haven't tried it again yet but yeah applying the product was fine the smell was like basically non-existent for me but I do have um, I, an issue with my sense of smell like I can't smell properly so I'm not exactly the person to gauge that from but just in case I opened my windows and made sure there's lots of ventilation because the keratin research one that I had used was so strong um, it burnt my like n internal like nose like my nasal cavity because I had gone to the doctor the next day and they were like blow your your nose is really like irritated inside and it's because of that um which is obviously not good and the keratin um at home treatment with gussie is formaldehyde free so that's why i wanted to try it um yeah so you know drying my hair was fine i used my rev air blow dryer which made it really fast and then i also used my rev on round brush dryer as well to help get it like, smoother and then I loved the Gussie hair straightener that's one thing I will say I like that you can see the heat and I love the design of it and I think it worked really well on my hair and I love having an adjustable heat um, so I'm really happy with that purchase and I like the mat that it came with but in terms of the actual product I feel like it took a very long time to apply that was the first thing the second thing is when i first like completed the whole treatment of straightening my hair and whatnot i didn't feel like my hair was that different like at all and then when i went to wash my hair it wasn't like frizz free like it was when i used the keratin research treatment and so i was like oh 
disappointed. And then I went to straighten it again, and I was like, okay, I do feel like there is a slight difference in my hair. Like, I feel like it was just a bit easier to, like, comb it and blow dry it and straighten it. Um, but I wouldn't say it was enough of a difference for me to, like, buy it again. I will use the rest of the product, but I don't think I'll be buying this product again. And I wouldn't recommend it for black hair at least. I feel like it probably works if your hair is just, um, you're looking for it to be more like shiny and sleek. Um, but yeah, I just would say save your money if you're a black person with, uh, of course, curly hair. And yeah, I think the biggest difference was with the keratin research treatment. After I washed my hair, my curls were like frizz free and it was soaking up product way easier like I didn't have to use nearly as much my hair dried so much faster I like could not believe the difference it made and my sister had used that product before and she said it like changed her life and when I tried it I was like wow this is life changing and I know it's like chemical but if it, it lasts like three to six months I think is the range but for the Gussie one it lasts six weeks so I think it's more worth it for the stronger chemical one although I am still trying to find an alternative that doesn't have uh, strong chemicals or is hopefully completely formaldehyde free but yeah I think if I just had proper ventilation and my sister and I talked about like doing each other's hair so that the person doing the hair could wear a proper like mask and even goggles to save like the burning sensation and then the person doing their hair could like cover their um, their face as well it's just hard to do it when you're like have a mask that goes over your ears and then the one I have has like a thing that sits on your head like it's a proper ventilated mask so yeah, I feel like that's a way around it, and it's not ideal to use chemicals, but um, the amount of time that I spend on my hair is ridiculous, and to have it cut in like probably a sixth of the time, that's amazing, and like kind of worth it in my eyes, but um, yeah, it just depends on what you want, but yeah, the Gussie treatment was just kind of disappointing, and yeah, I don't know, I just don't really think it did much overall. And I did take some video of like after, like a couple days after, and then what my hair looked like when I washed it um, after the, the treatment. And I, again, I just don't think it really made much of a difference at all. Like my hair didn't seem smoother, which is the point of a keratin treatment. And also just knowing the difference between what a keratin treatment and relaxer is. Um, I watched a really informative video. I will try and get the link in the description box um, because the person explained it so well and it just makes sense. It's like a smoothing treatment and it's temporarily changing your hair. And with the proper care, like using shampoos that don't have sodium chloride, I believe, it will make the treatment last as long as possible, which again, it, it can be months. Um, whereas the Gussie one is six weeks, and again, with all the effort it took, I just really don't think it was worth it. And yeah, like this is my hair after washing it a couple times um, since then, and you know, straightening it and kind of curled it a little bit, but I just feel like it's like still pretty frizzy, like it didn't really change much. And I don't hate how my hair looks, but I do feel like a lot of people do keratin to try and get their hair like as smooth as possible, and it, this product will just not do that. Um, yeah, so that's my review. It's honest, not sponsored by Gussie, I paid for this with my own money, and I hope this review helps somebody make a decision about buying it or not. Bye!